joy of so many Nigerian youths, as you saw in this video, has just been cut short by alleged massive rigging of the 2023 presidential elections. The person you saw in this video is Nollywood actor Eddie Watson and Frederick Leonard. And just like them, a lot of Nigerian youths has been happy and rejoiced as Peter Obi was winning in their respective polling units, only for INEC to come out and announce entirely different results. The celebrities have now taken to their social media platforms to cry out over the chaos following the presidential election. Somebody who, who sees the suffering of this, you see where Nigeria is saying, every hand don't touch every pot, including the rich and the poor. But in the midst of hand will touch you, you took bribe of $170 million and sold Nigeria. Because to you, you bought passport for your children and your wife. You sent your children abroad. But are you not seeing the pattern? All your children are junkies. Hooked on cocaine and crack. At 40, they still be dependent on you. After that, they start running from one spiritual house to the other. Mountain of fire to this. Looking for a pastor that will pray for them. Because there is no clarity with evil money. I be embittered that a whole lot of your children put together. With all the money that you have given them. With all the money that you have stolen from us. Because it's blood money. Look at the outcome of your life. There are empirical evidences and videos that actually prove that what actress Ruth Kaderi is saying is nothing but the truth. In some polling units, INEC officials came very late and in some units, they didn't even show up at all. And yet, their results were uploaded. Especially in Lagos, a lot of polling units were attacked by thugs while in some state government vehicles and officials were seen forcefully taking the ballot boxes without being counted. Uh, I can't wait till I get home before I do this video. Let me do it and post it. Okay, so I voted. Hmm. Where do I start from? Ah, Nigeria. We have a long way to go. I have a long way to go. Today has been so emotional for me. I left home 7.30, walked down to my polling unit. Took me 20 minutes. Got here, there were a few people, maybe only three people. And I saw some tables. And like me, I like to get into a space, organize myself, organize the people there so that things are easier for us in the long run. Oh, I'm caught. Anyway, so I waited. Then some guy came try to help us you know our polling units for those who couldn't find their polling units and i said oh i have to go around the corner i said no this is my place anyway i went and there's nothing there so we came back and we all decided that we'll wait for the INEC officials to come but then i started giving numbers to people just so that we know we are ourselves we are orderly and everything so waited INEC officials didn't get here until to 11, 11. We were supposed to start voting at 8.30. Uh, so they came. I'd already gone to go and drag some of them down there, but their polling unit was different to mine. So finally, ours came. My polling booth came. They dropped the girl. We started helping them with tables, drop their materials, paste the names are still pasted on the walls so that people can start looking for their names. And of course, they came with one beaver's machine. We had no idea what was going on, how it worked. And then I was number four. I go forward, give them my PVC. Then they say, unknown something unknown or oh, you are not found something funny like that i said eh eh you say what we told the while i went through <laughs> jokers just bug it's what you people are i thought i was the only one only after a few minutes uh, some other people were just coming me to a different my name to... <laughs> what's going on so i put a video up on twitter i neck lagos i neck nigeria you people you want to disenfranchise us John Snow Paul Sipo. Then more people. We were now like almost 40 something that did not find our names on the beavers. So 
I was watching what's going on. Then a lady walked up to me and said, Oh, the beavers, it's written there. You see, hey, Nick, you need to train these coppers. You need to train the people you send out. You don't just send them out into the environment, into a place without giving them the necessary information and the know-how how to handle situations. They were lost, confused. But right there on top of the beavers was the alphabetic number, the alphabets, the alphabetic arrangement of the beavers. Letter K to Z. So the rest of us that were A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, there's no way we can be on K to Z. I met the girl, she now said she's called their supervisor. So give me the number. You're busy trying to sort out a ballot paper. Let me call your supervisor. So I called, I said, Madam, my name is Kate Henshaw. We can't find our names on the papers. So oh, I know about you. I know about you. I'm coming, I'm coming. That took another one hour plus or something. Anyway, they came. I'm like, what the, what the actual, why did you bring all this sins? Here we are thinking that. We are not registered, we are registered and we can't be found. Why did you bring it? But I said, I said, you know what, I'm done. Don't want, drop it. Let us. So I'd given another set of numbers. If you went, found your name, couldn't find your name, you had form another queue. So we now had two concurrent queues moving. But at the end of the day, everything was being sorted. What I want to say is, hi, Nick. Eh, hey, Mr. Yakubu Abi Mohammed, I don't even know. Please, please, you don't need to do a lot better. We're in the 21st century where voting should not be so chaotic. People should just be able to use their card and vote or organize your, your, your people to come on time. Give them the know how. It's just, it's just terrible. Today has been. I mean, this polling unit has been quite organized, but it has been so draining for me. My spirit so draining for me. A lot of people helped here. We helped ourselves in this polling unit. When are people going to make voting easy for Nigerians? What are people doing about the, the spots that are dangerous? And how dare you people put polling units in the place where somebody's already compromised. Somebody tried to start a rumor here for me that I was talking about my candidate and God in heaven knows, he sees my heart and others that saw me I never mentioned, I came here, tried to help, set it up, voted and I came back and waited until everything was counted. But three people started a rumor that I was talking about my candidate, which was a blatant lie. One lady was already trying to antagonize me and I'm wondering, I don't know you before, why are you? this way to me. She later confessed to me that someone told her that ah, when I came, I was talking to my candidate. She now asked her that people and that's like, no, Kate never said anything. She came, sat in the corner and she was quiet. And I'm like, God will always vindicate the righteous. He would vindicate and the truth will come out. But I neck, how dare you put polling units in the place where the owner of the place is compromised. Find a neutral place. Find a neutral place. That's why some other places are having problems. Because the person whose house voting unit is, is saying, if you don't vote my candidate, I'm going to mess you up and eat it. You know, eh? I'm and going that, to be a. Hey! God bless you. Take care, eh? See you in two weeks. Yeah. At the end of the day, light will always triumph over darkness. At the end of the day, good will always triumph over evil. And one day, when the glory comes, it will be that of the Nigerian people. I may not try. I may not try. We need to do much, much better. Much, much better. The polling booth, the voting booth, our unit did not have. It was another set of uh, INEC people that gave us their use to vote. That's a thing that you go and stand and vote. The polling booth. We didn't have the INEC officials didn't come with any. It was another set of people that said, please, you people have only five voters. Help us give us and they gave it to us and that's what we use. Materials. So you people are asking for money. Money, money, money. What are you using the money for? 
You didn't bring materials. You bring your one wing pad. You brought one beavers. You are, you are just, I mean, I, what are people doing? They are finished. They are all. They are, come and pick your fish out. So they are finished. I neck. It's dark. Don't let them be sitting outside here on the road. See, where is the girl? See her there. See her there. She has finished things. She's there waiting. Eh? See another one here. She's waiting. Eh? Come and pick up your stuff and pick up your stuffs. They are finished. Come on, take them away. We'll see you in two weeks' time. You better. I'm not impressed. It's been stressful. I'm not impressed. Okay? Do better. And for those of you that not come out to vote, those of you that not come out to vote, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be so ashamed of yourself. You are in Nigeria, Lagos. You are in a particular polling unit. You did not come out to vote. Shame on you. And then I neck. You two did not give them their PVC. Those did not give PVC. Shame on you. You didn't bring their PVC. Shame on you. Eh, yeah, I said it. I'm tired. Goodbye. Oh, God bless. Ainek has continued to ignore the cries and pleas of the masses that the election was rigged and should be cancelled as they took to 4 a.m. this morning to declare the APC presidential candidate in the person of Mr. Ahmed Tinibu, the winner of the 2023 elections. Nigerian streets are so quiet as though nothing happened compared to the usual noisy and uproar of joy that is the tradition when an incoming president is announced. So many celebrities like Ruth Kaduri, Destiny Tico, Frederick Leonard, Kate Henshaw, Nancy Sime and Co. are mourning and have rejected the result as they threaten fire and brimstone on INEC if they don't do the needful and cancel the election. Why they keep waiting on Peter Obi, who seems to be the people's choice, to break silence? Just watch the, this video, guys. INEC has proven to be the most fraudulent and the most corrupt. In fact, Politicians cannot rig the election without INEC. And I wonder how we have missed the point all this while. Politicians cannot rig elections without INEC. You know, everybody has their polling units. They created these polling units. They will not come and tell us, I'm more of you. I'm more of you. No, no. Rain, I'm making a video. Go see it. You cannot come and tell us, I'm more of you. No. You will give us, even me, I know the number of my polling units. How many APC is, how many Labour Party is, how many PDP is. So the same way with every other person. So if INEC is giving us results, they should give us results based on our polling units. The worst that can happen is they tell me X, Y, Z amount of votes uh, ineligible. But you cannot tell me that when I know Labour Party won, you are putting APC as the head. This rigging of election this year will not work. We will sue INEC. Make they go court. So many Nigerian youths are currently threatening well, to unleash mayhem <laughs> on INEC if Peter Obi refuses to accept defeat. Well, what will be the fate of Nigeria if this yeah, ever happens? Mm. Can you mm. drop your thoughts in the comment section <laughs> below? And don't forget to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel as you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. <laughs>